Hello, St. Alfred the Great. Mrs. Walski here. I am here to read with you um, another episode of Children's Liturgy of the Word. Today, I will be reading and discussing the Gospel for Sunday, January 17th, which is the second Sunday in Ordinary Time. Now, last week, if you can remember, we talked about um, Jesus' baptism. Do you remember who baptized Jesus? His name was John. His name was John the Baptist, but more than that, he was Jesus' cousin. So John will come back into the story this in this week's gospel, and he's bringing other people with him. Now, after Jesus' baptism, the people were getting very, very excited. John has been talking about this person that's come to save us, or God has sent this person to save all of us. And so crowds were getting excited. The people were getting excited but they don't know who Jesus is. They don't know his name. They don't know what he looks like. So in today's gospel, we're going to meet some of Jesus's first followers and how they came to meet him, how they came to know him. Pay attention to their names, the names of people who follow Jesus. There are some other names I want you to pay attention to as well. And those are the names that we used in the gospel to describe Jesus. Okay, they're descriptive words, they're names, they're names that you you would recognize in the Bible, but they are names that John and some other people use to describe who Jesus is. So remember some things, the names of some of his followers and then some names or words used to describe Jesus. All right, and let's begin the way we always do with our song, Open My Ears, Lord. I would love it for you to sing out loud with me. So go ahead and I will put the words on the screen and I want you to sing out loud, okay? And let's begin. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On one occasion, John the Baptist was walking with two of his followers. When he saw Jesus walking by, he said, Here is the Lamb of God. John's two followers heard him, and they went with Jesus. When Jesus turned and saw them, he asked, what do you two want? They answered, Rabbi, where do you live? The Hebrew word rabbi means teacher. Jesus replied, come and see. It was already about four o'clock in the afternoon when they went with him and saw where he lived. So they stayed on for the rest of the day. One of the two men who had heard John and had gone with Jesus was Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter. The first thing Andrew did was to find his brother and tell him, we have found the Messiah. The Hebrew word Messiah means the same as the Greek word Christ. Andrew brought his brother to Jesus. And when Jesus saw the brother, he said, Simon, son of John, you will be called Cephas. This name can be trans translated as Peter. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. All right, boys and girls, I finished reading. So did you listen for those names that I told you to listen for? 
let's start off with his followers, Jesus' followers. What were the names of the people in the story? I already told you John the Baptist was one of them. He was there at the beginning. John the Baptist had two followers that were walking with him when he showed them, oh, look, this is Jesus. Um, what were those two names? Well, actually, that's a trick question. Only one of them um, had a name in, in this gospel. So there were two people following John, John the Baptist, and one of them was named. What was his name? It starts off with an A, Andrew. So Andrew was one of the first people to follow Jesus. And what did Andrew do when he figured out who Jesus was? He was so excited and he went and found his brother. And what was his brother's name? Simon, Simon Peter. He went and grabbed his brother and he says, Simon, Simon, come with me. I found him. I found Jesus. So um, Andrew goes and brings Simon to meet Jesus. Jesus meets Simon. He goes, Simon, I'm going to change your name to Cephas, which also means Peter. So Jesus changed Simon's name to Peter. And there you have the first couple of followers to follow Jesus and become his disciples. We had Andrew, we had Simon Peter, who became Peter, and we have another person who's unnamed in this particular gospel, but I'm sure we'll, we'll learn his name later on. The second thing I asked you to listen for were the different names or titles that were used to call Jesus. Do you remember what they were? John the Baptist used the first one. When he was walking with the two friends, he said, look, here is the Lamb of God. Lamb of God was one of the descriptions uh, used to describe Jesus. And we hear that a lot, don't we? In church and in the Bible, in the Old Testament, we hear the words Lamb of God a lot. And there was another word. Um, it was a Hebrew word, and I told you during in the gospel, it says this word means teacher. It starts with an R. It's a Hebrew word, rabbi. So when the two followers, Andrew and the friend, started following Jesus, they said, Rabbi, Rabbi, where do you live? Rabbi means teacher. So there's another word or title for Jesus, which is rabbi. And then another one comes at the end. And it starts with an M. And it was the word that Andrew used when he was calling Simon. He said, Simon, come with me. I found the M. Mm. Starts with an M. Messiah. And the Hebrew word Messiah is similar to the word that we use now called Christ. So Messiah and Christ are basically the same. So those were some words in the, this gospel used to describe Jesus. Weren't there a lot of ways to describe Jesus? And didn't I tell you at the beginning, um, people knew that Jesus was coming. God was going to send someone to save us, to save all the people. But they don't know his name. They didn't know his name was Jesus. They didn't know what he looked like. They didn't know who to follow. So they had all these descriptive words to describe Jesus um, so that they can find him. Lamb of God, Messiah, Rabbi, all these words describe Jesus. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit more about the takeaway from this story. These people um, follow Jesus even though they didn't know who he was. They didn't know what he looked like. All they knew was that he was sent from God to help us and to save us. I want you to keep that in mind all this week and during Mass um, when you're watching with your family on Sunday. I want you to follow Jesus just like Andrew and his friend followed Jesus. Just like Simon was pulled by his brother Andrew. I want you to follow Jesus. And what does following Jesus mean? I think following Jesus means being kind to others. It means doing what you think is right. For example... You have a choice to watch TV or help your little sister clean up her toys. What would you do? You would do the kinder thing. The help your sister, right? The one that Jesus, the decision that, that you think Jesus would want us to follow. Do things and make decisions that would help you follow Jesus. Amen? Amen. 
Thank you for joining me for another episode of Children's Liturgy of the Word. I hope you enjoyed today's gospel and the discussion afterwards. And I hope you remember the takeaway, which is to do good deeds and follow Jesus, just like Andrew and Simon Peter did and all the many followers of Jesus. I hope you choose to follow Jesus and do good deeds and make good decisions. Another way to follow Jesus is by praying. To close today's um, episode, I would like to pray with you as we always do. I'd like to say in our Father with you, but I also want to introduce you to a new prayer, a prayer that I say every single day at home with my son, and that is my nightly prayer. We lay down in bed together, and we pray. To, he's only two years old, and we pray this very, very short prayer together. So I hope that I can introduce this short prayer to you, and you can add this to your nightly prayers as well. So thank you again, and I hope to see you at next um, week's episode. And let's also pray for everyone during this pandemic, everyone who is sick, everyone who's not sick and trying to be careful. Um, I know some of you are actually going back to school soon, aren't you? I know some of the elementary schools are going back. Some of you are going back full time. Some of you are going back part time or hybrid. Some of you are making the choice to stay at home. And I hope all of you stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope your families are safe and healthy during this pandemic as well. So let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now the nightly prayer. God, our Father, this day is done. We ask you and Jesus Christ, your Son, that with the Spirit, our welcome guest, you guard our sleep and bless our rest. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bye, everyone. Have a safe and wonderful week.